Hello, people of Earth. Today, I'm going to do something a little different. Today, I'd like to show you how I use my latch hook needle. The same one that comes out of my machine, cylinder needle, to weave in ends on my crochet work. So, when I first started crocheting, um, the typical way you do an end is you thread the end with a needle and then you sew that end in. I very quickly did not like this method. So I would use a very small hook. I use the smallest hook I've got and I would use that. Let me show you how I would do it. So here's an end. Let me just fix my camera a little bit. Let's zoom in a little bit. So here's an end. So this is the end of this little fan here. And when I did the next row, I, I crocheted over it. You can see how it's, so it's, and some people just cut it off and leave it, but I like to go back one more time. So I take my crochet hook and I work my way in. This is how I used to do it like that and then I take my end and this way is great but you still have a hook in there that can catch on things right it didn't not this time that's good you pull it through see I didn't uh, go through that little loop there so that it doesn't just I don't just pull out how I crocheted over it and then I cut off the end. So imagine my delight when I started when I bought a sock machine and I got these needles. I pretty much immediately put a bunch of them in my little crochet and knitting tool tool uh, toolbox and started using this latch hook needle instead of my hook. And I am going to show you why it rocks. <laughs> so let's find another end. Here we go. Let me just fix this camera. It's way too over. My cat is going to try to get on my lap here. Okay, so here he comes. Well, hello, Ender. I guess I'd better just move this pillow and let him have his way. Come on, lay down. Settle down. Settle down, baby. Okay, there's Ender. It's okay, we can still do our video with him on my lap. <laughs> Although he's very affectionate, he wants me to love him. I'll get you soon, baby. Okay, so here's, here's my end. I like to pull it just a little taut, but not too taut, taut. And here's my hook. Let's zoom in again. I'm gonna weave my way in. My hook is open. My latch is open when I go in. Ender's trying to get me to pet him. Now the nice thing about this is once you get through and you pop your tail in. Now I take like the end of the tail, like that, and you push it out past the hook, and when you come back, it closes, and now there's nothing to get caught on anything. It's great. It is great. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna hold on to this while I pull it all the way. And then I'm gonna pull it taut and snip it off. Ender, what did you do with my scissors? He hopped up here and... Oh, I put them away. Okay. Chip, tip this off. Let's do another one. You guys all weave in ends with a cat on your lap, I'm sure. I'm positive. 
possibly a dog. Possibly both. See how I just lay the end over there, close the hook, and then I pull it through. Tighten it up, just so. Pretty handy, isn't it? This is the last, you guys, this is the last big tile of my blanket I'm making. Now I make little granny squares and then like half grannies and triangle grannies and then I can put my blanket together. That one took a lot of finagling, but here we go. We made it in the end. I really do like to keep a hold of this because if you pull it and it pulls this tight, it'll pull this tighter than you like. So that's why I keep a hold of it. Ooh, and I'll tell you what I also use my latch needle hook for. Yes, I know. I love you too, Winder. You want to see Ender? He's such a sweet boy. Yes, yes. Oh, he's my baby. Okay. He's also got like the noisiest purr on the planet. It's like having a, f a Mack truck park it on you. Okay, I'll do one of these and then I'll show you what else I use my latch hook needle for. In my knitting. I'll show you how I use it in my knitting. Ooh. Who's the sweetest baby in all the land? Ender's the sweetest baby in all the land. Again, so these ends, all of my ends, basically, I've already crocheted over them for like an inch. And now I'm just pulling them back so that that end is super secure. I like having super secure ends. Um, this is the way I do it. I'm not trying to say that anyone else's way is wrong. There are lots and lots of ways to do it. See how I left him right in unhooked under that little loop? That is so it's anchored. See how that's anchored now? If I didn't do that, I would just pull it all out. We wouldn't want that. Okay, now let me show you how I use it in my knitting. Let me find my knitting. Knitting, where are you? Here's some knitting. Okay, I haven't worked on this in a while. So, let me figure this out here. Oi. Wish I had something else. Do I have something else? Sorry, I should have been more organized. You can watch Ender while I figure this out. Hey, Ender. Where is my sock? I was knitting a sock. Okay, we'll use this one. This is the blanket. It's pretty cute. See, look. And he's just totally chilling underneath this blanket. It's got a little a pearl square. And then a knit square. And then a pearl square. And the edging is all like, I think it's called the moss stitch. I can't remember. It's been a while. So, let me show you how I do this for knitting. Let me just get past the border and then I'll show you. Let me 
fix my camera. Nah, it's fine. So I got to do my border, which is just alternating pearl and knit. And it was just like, I'm happy. This is as normal, like living under a pile of yarn. Some of it made into stuff, some of it not so much yet. Okay, so now I'm to the, I'm past the border. And let me show you how else I use my latch hook. Let me get my camera perfect again. Okay, so I'm going to pull this guy so I don't drop anything on that side. And now I'm going to purposefully drop a stitch. You know, sometimes you're knitting and you're looking down here and you're like, what has gone wrong? And so you drop a stitch and drop it down. And then you got to stitch it back up hook it back up. I can't remember. There's, what is the term for when you do this? I don't know. So there, I've dropped down a bunch of stitches. There's my stitch here. Or when you have a drop stitch, sometimes you don't do this on purpose, sometimes. Now usually people will take a little crochet hook. You'd need a bigger one because this yarn is like worsted weight. Um, and then you crochet back up. Now let me show you how to do that with a latch hook needle. Woo! I'm going to turn this around. It's easier to do it from the knit side. I'm going to pull that out. I don't want to drop any more stitches. So let me just pop this around. Get my working yarn out of the way. Okay, let's find the stitch. Look at that, I found it. Okay. So now, let's take the latch hook needle and let's pop it. Right into our stitch. And I'm making sure I got all of the stitch on there and I didn't split the yarn. Then I hook it under the next ladder like that and I make sure this hook this latch is above the stitch and then I put a little bit of tension on it here with my thumb because if it doesn't that 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 latch might split the yarn it might stab into the yarn like that we don't want that so I'm pulling down just a smidge so that as it goes over shupa like that Let's do it again. These hooks really are getting in the way. These needles, not hooks. So I'm going under that ladder and I'm using it to latch up my knitting. Like that. See how that just latched up so nice? And now I can pop this stitch right back on my needle. Pop it back on there, like that, and now it's all latched up again. Like so. Looks good, huh? So anyway, that is how I use my latch hook needle in crocheting and in knitting. Let's just, oh, Ender, baby. You got yarn all over your face. Let's just end this here on a pretty shot of Ender. Who likes to just chill with me while I'm doing my work, while I'm doing my handwork.
Isn't he just sweetest guy? Yes, he is. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. Not your typical video this time, but those latch needles, man. I I get so many of them too. I hand them out at my knitting group and I say, if you guys want one, you let me know. I'll give you one. <laughs> so take care. Be safe. Pet kitties. <laughs>